Hey guys, it's Waluigi Walkthroughs. <clears throat> Sorry, so kind of a little bit sick. Um, but, well, anyway. In the last part, we finished off Chapter 2, and in this part, we are going off to find the Heart Pillar to go on to Chapter 3. I am excited. Are you guys excited? I hope you are, because Chapter 3 has got to be, like, my favorite chapter in this game. I am dead serious. It's, it's an awesome chapter. It's funny and everything, and has awesome music, and it's... It's pretty enjoyable. It's a variety. It'll, it'll be it'll be different than every other world because we're going to be going to a lot of places. But sorry, I'm really flummy. I know it's really disgusting, but I can't help it. Anyway, what we want to do is we now that we've got Boomer in our party, um, we can head over to this pipe and you see these red blocks. Well, we know what to do. So let's put Boomer down. Hopefully that'll be enough. Yeah, there we go. And we're gonna head down this place. Yeah, so I've already practiced this chapter, so I know exactly what I'm doing. So I'm not gonna be running around going like, hey, what do I do? I know exactly what to do, so this is gonna be actually... I'm gonna try to do this as fast as possible, because this chapter can take a while. It can take a while. Um, yeah, the chapter's not gonna be so easy from here on out, especially the next one. So as you can see, there is a heart pillar there. Um, actually, I, I'll go do this first. Alright, so what we want to do is send a 3D, go slim, and make through our way to the heart puller. Uh, I don't think I used Peach for the heart puller scene before, so let's use her. Actually, I take that back, I have used her. Um, we got her before we went off to Chapter 2. Oh, dang it. Well, I'm going to have to switch back to Mario, because I'm going to have to go back in 3D to exit this place. Drats. I'm wasting time already. And we get the yellow door. Such a happy color. Makes me so happy to see yellow. I like the color yellow. Anyway, let's get Mario back out. Yeah, sorry guys, that was a waste of time. But anyway, before we actually, we don't want to go back the way we came, what we want to do is we can head down this pipe now, and head off to some places that we haven't been in, flip side. Yes, yeah, so I'm actually going to be getting some extra stuff done in flip side, finally, and by the end of the chapter, we're going to have a little bit of stuff done, make, we're going to make some progress in flip side. So anyway, um, there are no blocks visible, but there are invisible blocks, as weird as that sentence sounds. So, what we want to do is, if I can get Tippy on screen, okay, there we go. What we want to do is we want to continue heading across, finding invisible blocks. I find that I can do two blocks at once if I align it just right. But I don't think I would get the two second block right there. And I think there's one more block? Nope, guess not. Anyway, um, let's jump. Now you want to head to 3D, make sure you jump again. And let's head through this passage. Currently, we are actually at the lowest level of flip side right now, and there's a switch here. Um, you're going to want to hit the switch before you head down, I just realized that. And that switch opens this little area up. Now, I'm not going to tell you what's down in this area, um, because I'm going to save for later. Yeah, let's just, let's just protect ourselves, because that's not going to be a fun place. But anyway, before you head up the elevator, you want to go talk to this guy. And he is going to do something very helpful for us. You want to make sure you have enough coins at this point. Like, make sure you have enough coins as I do, because he is going to make a pipe to Flipside Tower's base. So that means, instead of going up a couple of levels through Flipside to get to this bottom area, we are going to be able to take one pipe to get all the way down to the bottom. Yeah, that's really helpful, because... Unfortunately, there's another level above us, and then there's another one, and then we're back onto the floor where Merlin's house is. So, 100 coins just for this pipe? I think it's worth it. Because we are going to be coming down here, and I don't really want to travel down a lot of elevators. So, what we can do now, if I want to get control, there we go. Let's head on back. There's no secrets here. I thought there might be. Let's head on back, use the elevator, and now we're going to access some floors of Flipside that we haven't seen before. So this is the last Flipside city floor. Um, so in here, there is a bar, and inside the bar are some mini-games. I'll show those off later. 
But if we head into 3D... There is a chest over here. And inside the chest we get a catch card. The internet card. Awesome. Now you could swim down that water area. There's another area over there. I'll show it to you guys later. But for now, let's just continue on. So this elevator was previously off limits to us. But now we are able to use it now. And we're going to head off to... Um, her kitchen. I don't remember what her name is. Oh, sweet smiles. Alright. So, in the practice run, I unfortunately encountered the problem of not having enough health recovery items to make it through the chapter as best as I could. I mean, I did survive, but unfortunately, I was a little bit rusty with playing the game, so I didn't do so good in the practice run. So, if you're not very familiar with this game, I suggest you go in... Use all the Ultra Shrooms that you've collected and turn them into Shroom Plates. Because they... they I think they go 15 HP, yeah. So, you actually increase the amount of HP you can get from a Shroom Shake if you just cook it. Who would have thought? Yeah. So, 15 HP is way better than 20 HP... I mean, 10 HP recovery. I mean... I mean, who else would, who would argue with that? And it also cures poison, something that the Shroom Shake does not actually do. And, unfortunately, we are now going to be introduced to... Well, not really introduced to, but we're going to be more a danger to status afflictions in this next chapter. So, I would say having items that remove status afflictions are necessary, in a way. If you're not really feeling comfortable at all, I say just go ahead and do what I'm doing right now. I'm just doing this just to make sure, and just be safe. Better safe than sorry, you know? I mean, who wouldn't argue with that? Alright, I know this is taking a while for her to cook all these shroom shakes, but I just want to get all of them out of the way. Um, once we're done here, we're going to actually head off to the item shop in Flipside, and try to pawn off some of the items I have. Because I don't really need some of them. Alright, there's one more Shroom Shake, I believe. Yes. Awesome, we're almost done. I know this is not as exciting as, I don't know, combat. Yeah, this is a pretty boring little part, but I have to do it. And I'd rather just show it all than not show it. Eh, whatever. It's my choice anyway. You're gonna live with it. Alright, get it? You're gonna have to live with it. It's my choice. My decisions, my rules, my game. At least we can skip these little elevator cutscenes. And hey, look. The item shop is conveniently right there. Oh, I'm also gonna have to go heal up before I go off to the next chapter. Alright, so let's talk to this guy. We haven't actually talked to him yet. And he's going to reintroduce us to the shop point system that every Paper Mario game has. Each item you buy, you get one point. Every ten points, you get a free item. So what we want to do is not actually sell them, but let's store our Shell Shock. I'm not going to need that. Um, everything else is actually a health, um, health thing, health item in my inventory. Uh, I could... Yeah, these star medals and gold bars, they just increase your coins or your, I don't know, your experience points. But I don't really need any attack items, I'm just going to buy another health item. I don't know why. I never actually use attack items. I don't really find a use for them. Whatever. I mean, who cares? Anyway, now that we're done with this guy... We are going to head off to the inn, where we're going to rest up. Because, unfortunately, I was an idiot during my practice run, and I didn't heal before I left for the chap third chapter, and the moment I entered in, I lost a lot of health, and I had to use all my health upgrades, I mean health items to refill my health. It was pointless. I was so frustrated with, with myself. I mean, I could have left using the return pipe and just went back, but... By the time I realized that I made a huge mistake, I was already too far into the chapter to go back and do all everything all over again. But anyway, I didn't make the same mistake twice. Let's see if she leaves us any items. Sometimes if you stay at an inn, they will leave items for you in 3D, I don't know. It's kind of a 
It's a cool little secret. But anyway, I'll see you guys when we have to chapter 3. Bye.